Former presidential adviser and Taiwan independence activist Peng Mingming passed away on Friday morning at the age of 98. President Tsai Ing-wen, Vice President Lai Ching-de, and Premier Su Zhenchang have expressed their condolences while thanking Peng for his contributions to Taiwan's democratic transition. Peng was an outspoken critic of Chiang Kai-shek's regime and was an advocate for freedom and democracy in Taiwan while in exile for more than two decades. He'll be buried at a Presbyterian church in Kaohsiung. At 93 years old, Peng Mingmin published the book Bidding Farewell to Family and Friends. Five years later on Friday morning, the former presidential candidate has passed away. Premier Su Zhenchang said it was a huge loss for Taiwan. Last year on 228 Peace Memorial Day, I went to see him. He was still very talkative back then, and we made plans to meet again. But now, we are forever separated. <laughs> We should thoroughly identify with Taiwan. We don't have any hometowns outside of Taiwan. We don't have any motherlands besides Taiwan. Taiwan is our motherland, our only hometown. Peng was an outspoken advocate for freedom and democracy in Taiwan. He was born in 1923 in Taichung's Daja district. In 1945, he pursued studies at Tokyo Imperial University. During his stay in Japan, he lost his left arm during a U.S. air raid near Nagasaki. In 1954, he obtained a doctoral degree in law at the University of Paris. As an authority in international law, he eventually became the youngest dean of National Taiwan University's Department of Political Science. In 1964, he and two students, Xie Tongmin and Wei Tingchao, published a manifesto against Chiang Kai-shek's authoritarian regime and advocating for democracy in Taiwan. Because of it, Peng was sentenced to eight years in prison. In his second year in jail, he was granted a special pardon and placed under house arrest. In 1970, Peng managed to escape Taiwan undercover. While in exile, he became the head of the Formosan Association for Public Affairs, advocating for reform in Taiwan before finally returning to his native country in 1992. In 1996, he ran for president with Frank Xie as VP in Taiwan's first direct presidential election. <laughs> He could have just kept to himself and enjoyed glory and riches, but during those authoritarian times, he decided to be brave and make Taiwan's plight be known. He offended the authorities at the time and faced severe consequences, but he was unafraid and fully resolved to attain his goal. He is an exemplary figure for later generations like ours. Through a spokesperson, President Tsai Ing-wen expressed her condolences, deeply thanking Peng for his advice to her and for his contributions to the democratization of Taiwan. Meanwhile, on social media, Vice President Lai ching de made a post saying that Peng had given everything in life for a taste of freedom with no regret or remorse. The Peng Mingming Foundation has released a statement that, as per Peng's will, funerals of any kind will not be held for him. Peng will be cremated and his ashes buried at a Presbyterian Church of Taiwan Cemetery in Kaohsiung's Yancheng District. On his obituary, the association quoted from the preface of his last published work, which reads, There is one China and one Taiwan. That is long-established ironclad reality. Though Peng is gone, his work for Taiwan and his impact on Taiwan's future will never be forgotten.